Hi, I'm Anju, and today I'm here to talk about All Heal, also known as Prunella vulgaris. All Heal is one of Galliano's woodland beauties. It is part of the Lamiaceae family, which is the mint family. It bears oval, lance-shaped, creeping foliage, which has one to two inch erect purple flower spikes, which appear from June through August. The plant reaches about one to two feet tall, and you can harvest the medicinal parts of the plant from June through August. When I was cultivating medicinal plants, this is what all heal looks like. And this is a picture of the flower. All heal is renowned for its use internally and externally. It is said to change the course of chronic disease and it is called nature's natural antibiotic. All Heal is an astringent, antiseptic, antiviral, antimicrobial, antispasmodic, carminative, and diuretic. Topically, All Heal has been used for sore eyes, tired eyes, pink eye, or conjunctivitis. You can use the tincture and dilute it and dab it into your eye, or you can make a tea out of the plant and do the same. It is also great for wounds. It helps impede the flow of blood as an astringent. It fuses the lips of the wound together and also helps us enhance scar formation. Internally, it is used for mouth and throat inflammations sore throat, mouth ulcers, and bleeding gums. It is a helpful astringent in case if you have diarrhea or internal bleeding. It is, I also use it, every, the tincture every month to curb my menstruation cycle from five days to three days uh, because I have a lot of excess blood flow. Um, I use it every month and it is great for that. Now, the Chinese also use all heal um, traditionally for eons. They use it as a heptoprotective, which is to assist weak liver function, protect the liver, and detoxify it, which results in bright, clear eyes. So it's an excellent herb for liver support. All heal has also, they've also used it for to pull out heavy metals out of the body as an anti-cancer. They also use it in combination with chrysanthemum to treat dizziness, headaches, and vertigo. All Heal is also great to lower high blood pressure by gently widening the blood vessels. It is also used as a, a treatment for enlarged glands mainly lymph nodes or organ filtering nodes of the neck. All Heal is great for urinary tract infections, um, also when blood is present in the urine. Moreover, some new research that I have came across says that All Heal is great for treating HIV and herpes one and two virus. Now why? There's an active ingredient called lignin polysaccharide, which binds to the HSV virus, which stops it from penetrating host cells. It's pretty amazing. Now, I was mentioning to you earlier that All Heal is an amazing antiviral and antimicrobial. It is nature's natural antibiotic. Um, it acts against a wide range of pathogens and kills pathogenic fungi. It treats Shigella and E. coli. 
Wow. Now, there are many chemical constituents to all heal. Some are vitamins A, B, C, and K, volatile oils, tannins, caffeic acid, bitter principle, fatty acids, and lots of calcium. Hyperoside is also present in all heal, which is in quercetin. Your solic acid, which inhibits cancer cells. Butylinic acid, which is an anti-cancer. Rosemaryanic acid, which is an antioxidant. Rutin and flavanols. Now, you also might be wondering what is an Ayurvedic perspective of all heal. All heal has a very dry and light qualities. It has a very cooling effect on the body and it has all the tastes except for sour. It decreases excess pitta in katva and increases vata if used for long periods of time. And it has an affinity for rasa, plasma, ratka, blood tissue, predominantly acts on the prana, respiratory rasa, lymphatic, ratka, circulatory ana, and digestive srotas systems of the body. I hope you enjoyed talking about All Heal with me here today and do not forget the enchanting power of plants.